Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be making a pub sign. I found this cool piece of wood and a wrought iron sign hanger at a secondhand shop. And so I came up with the purring kitten pub uh, and I made this template. And so first I just taped the template down onto the wood. And then I'm going to use the X-Acto blade to etch it into the wood and then eventually going to uh, give it a nice texture and then paint it. The X-Acto blade was brand new and the wood was really soft so it made it really easy to etch into the letters. Um, although having the tiny little details made it a little bit challenging. So after I finish that you can see um, the letters show up really clearly with that just that little bit of etching. And sometimes a ruler helps with keeping things straight. After I completed all the etching, I removed the template. And you can see here, you can just kind of make out the shapes of everything. So from there, what I did next was from the inside of the letters, um, and I kind of eyeballed the distance, but at about a 45 to 60 degree angle, I etched out uh, the inside of each letter to give it kind of a bevel. And it took, this took a while. Having a sharp blade really, really helped here. But you can see after doing the first letter, like it just really makes the letter pop out. And then uh, after I'm done with all that, I'm gonna get to painting it all. Little sanding to help smooth out the rough edges and make it a little more even all the way around. So once I had the big letters done, I mean, you can really see how it just, it just pops out on the sign. Even without any painting at all, it looks great, I think. But then uh, my prototype letter here was uh, blue on the inside and a little gold around the outside. I've got acrylic paints. Uh, and the nice thing about having that, that bevel etched in is that I can just take the brush right into that edge. And I don't have to worry too much about painting outside the line, so to speak. It's also okay if I got a little paint on the, uh, the middle part of the letter because I'm just going to paint over it with blue. As you can see, I already started there in the background. But I tried to fill in the cracks a little bit with that gold, fill in some of the holes. But you really can only see that up close. The blue paint, I really like this color, but it actually took two coats to get it to settle in. Um, I probably should have put a white layer behind it, get it to pop a little more, but I didn't want to take the chance that I was going to mess up. So I just painted it all blue.
Uh, for the word pub, I decided to invert it, so I did it blue and then uh, with gold in the middle of the letterings, which you'll see in a minute. And now this is the progression from the initial concept um, to a better clean up draft, a little bit of etching, some more etching. The painting, the gold, and the blue, and then I painted in one of the kitties, and of course we need the final touch was the white cat on top, giving a nice stretch. I really had a whole lot of fun making this. I, I don't know where the idea came from, it just seemed like a fun thing to make, so I made it. And that's what this channel is really all about. Make something. If it comes out great, all the better. If it doesn't, make something else. And this is the final product.